Recently, the Namibian team that participated at the African Union Sports Council of Region 5 tournament returned from Maputo, Mozambique, where they collected medals for the country. The team was joined with the national under-17 Kosafa champions who visited the Namibia Sports Commission regarding their latest achievements. Your achievements are a motivation to every Namibian and especially those representing us now at the Olympic in Rio. Brazil, for you have sown the seed of victories. I want to thank you for real uh, making us proud, bringing this trophy home, bringing the gold medals and coming first in Maputo. It's a proud of the nation and that's what I want. And I always, in my many media briefing, I always said, be a proud Namibian ambassador. And you have been, not only been proud as a representative, but also being proud as a winner and a victory at the end of the day. French superstar Paul Pogba today completed a sensational return to Manchester United from Juventus for a record reported world record fee. United said Pogba has signed a five-year contract but did not give the cost which British media have put an 89 million pounds not including agents fee. Novak Djokovic suffered a second Olympic Games defeat in the space of 24 hours when he and Nenad Simojic were knocked out of the men's doubles. The Serb pair lost 6-4, 6-4 to Brazilian fourth seeds Marcelo Melo and Bruno Soraes. Last year, 18-year-old Yusra Mardini swam for three and a half hours to save the lives of her fellow Syrian refugees. Yusra is one of the 10 members of the first ever all-refugee team. On Saturday, Yusra Mardini, a Syrian refugee now based in Germany, stormed to win her women's 100-meter butterfly heat but failed to qualify for the semi-finals. That's your wrap-up. Thank you for joining the Sports on One.